You could say that I'm something of a hot sauce fanatic. My refrigerator has a dedicated hot sauce section filled with hot sauces that I've collected from around the world. I'm also particularly partial to this local Israeli brand that does some nice Carolina Reaper and Ghost Chili products. I carry around this hot sauce little container on my keychain wherever I go. And Melinda's hot sauce, a Texan hot sauce that happens to be kosher certified, is also one of my time-honored favorites. In fact, I think their ghost pepper wing sauce is possibly my favorite spicy condiment of all time. A classic hot sauce you'll see throughout Israel, however, is Zrug. Zrug is a hot sauce originating in Yemen. In other parts of the world, it goes by the name Sahawik. Green Zrug, Sahawik Akhtar in Arabic, involves green peppers. And red Zrug, Sahawik Ahmar in Arabic, uses red ones. Both types of zrug, however, involve the addition of coriander, garlic, salt, cumin, and some olive oil to make an utterly delicious spicy condiment. Zrug became a big thing in Israel because of the influx of Yemenite Jews. Yemenites and Sephardic Jews have been working hand in hand to make Ashkenazic Jewish food slightly less terrible, and their contribution to the rich panoply of world cuisines, that is Israeli food, has been immense. Zrug is also what's commonly referred to in Hebrew just as harif, meaning hot stuff. So if you pull up to a falafel stand and get asked if you'd like some spicy stuff in your falafel or shawarma, it's going to be zrug that they're daubing inside of the bread. Except that is if you're buying that falafel in an Arabic neighborhood, in which case the hot sauce is shata. Shata is a hot sauce popularized in Saudi Arabia and personally I like it a little bit better than zrug. Anyway, as much as I love falafel, I've personally never found a zrug that's hot enough for my taste buds, which enjoy stuff on the very far reaches of the Scoville scale. This is the most common type of supermarket zrug you'll see sold here in Israel. I personally think it's really mild. This product was also kind of a disappointment. While searching for some spicier options, I fortunately stumbled upon the surprisingly vibrant world of Israeli craft hot sauce makers. This is concentrated mostly on a few Facebook groups, and a lot of the guys grow their chilies in the scorching desert terrain of southern Israel and sell it throughout the country. I think this is pretty awesome and really demonstrates how many microclimates there are in Israel. One of the first hot sauce purveyors that I stumbled upon through these Facebook groups was called Hadina Reem Beit Shel Harif. These guys live in Moshav Pri Gan, which is located in the Gaza periphery called in Hebrew Otaf Aza. So although I had no idea when ordering that these guys were located in the south, I'm now extra eager to keep munching through my hot sauce to support them with more orders. This company is a father and son team who have grown more than 150 varieties of hot pepper in southern Israel, including the incendiary ones I really love like ghost peppers and Carolina reapers. I put in an ambitious first order ordering some seeds that I'm going to try grow this winter, as well as some dried ghost chili pepper so that I can try to make my own zrug. But the real reason that I ordered was to pick up some of their ultra hot zrug called Hasrug Shel Hashaten. This means in English literally the Zrug of the devil. And it is devilishly hot. This Zrug is made from the spiciest chilies in the world, including scorpion peppers, ghost peppers, as well as Carolina Reapers. For people who are similarly obsessed with hot sauce, let me tell you, compared to supermarket Zrug, this product is simply on another level. You need to be really careful, in fact, to use this in moderation, but when you do, Wow, the flavor is incredible and the heat packs an amazing punch. If you're looking for a spread that really cranks up the Scovilles, this product simply isn't going to let you down. And at 25 shekel a tub when I ordered it, the price really isn't that bad at all. I also ordered a spread and they have a nice little lineup of sauces that I'm going to be dipping into this winter. The Dina Reem guys are on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook and of course the website which you can order from. It's worth keeping an eye on their socials to see where they'll be traveling next in Israel, spreading the love of spicy products throughout the country. At the time of making this video, there was a 100 shekel order minimum with 50 shekel flat delivery throughout the country. I got my order in a few days. If you'd like to get more videos about life in Israel and the random things I stumble upon here, then please consider subscribing. The Devil's Zrug from Adina Reem, literally one of the greatest hot sauces I've ever purchased. Amazing product. Great service, totally recommend them. If you're into hot stuff, go buy some for yourself.